So you started off some seed indoors and they all germinated. Now what? Well, in this episode, I will share with you my seedling care routine. All of that is coming up. Hi, my name is Ruben Malale and welcome to Veggie Synapse. With the exception of carrots, all of my seed are started off indoors, either in seed trays or containers or newspaper pots. Just so seed needs moist and warmth to germinate. But once the seed has germinated, there are some things that will determine how your seedlings will perform. And light is one of the most important things that you need to consider. In my context, I'm using a windowsill to ensure that my seedlings get sufficient light. Some growers make use of artificial light, but I found that in my setup, I had great success by just starting my seed off on the windowsill. The absence of light results in your seedlings becoming leggy as the plant is stretching for light and that causes the plant to become leggy. So in my setup, I'm using a windowsill and that for me is sufficient for my seedlings to actually grow healthily. So seedlings will require a regular water. So as a gardener, you need to look at your context and water your uh, seedlings as required. You can then check regularly to see whether your soil is dry and when they are dry is to ensure then that you water them. So there are also different methods of watering seedlings. Uh, in my context, I'm using the stray to put my seedlings in. Uh, and therefore I will be just putting water and water from the bottom and leave them in the water for approximately five to ten minutes. And uh, in some instances when I'm using newspaper pots, then I will then just water the plants by using a water can. Now some gardeners also make use of liquid fertilizers uh, to ensure that they feed their plant. In my context, I am ensuring that my seedlings are planted out after four to six weeks. But I'm curious to know, are you feeding your seedlings with any fertilizers? Uh, let me know in the comments, but I found that the nutrients from the compost is sufficient to keep my seedlings for the four to six weeks that I am growing them indoors. Now, since seedlings need sufficient space to grow, the next aspect that is important is to ensure that you thin out the seedlings. I prefer to grow spring onions and beetroot in clusters, so which means I will just uh, transplant them directly as a bunch into my garden. I do not thin out my spring onions and my beetroot, but the rest of the other crop I thin out so that they can have sufficient space to grow. But those are my routine that I follow to ensure that I have continuous supply of seedlings and they grow healthily. Let me know some of your things that you are doing. I'm curious to know. Let me know in the comments. And if you are subscribing to the channel, thank you so much, you're awesome. And if you are interested in content like this, consider subscribing to the channel.